like not too long ago, I left off by just eating chips and cereal. That was two years ago. Find me in the corner of the room, not ready to resume, cause I Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, I already did part of my makeup. The reason why is because I wasn't sure if it was going to come out right. Because last time I tried to do this same look, but it came out different. So, I that's why I went to film. And, but I, I kind of regretted that I didn't film because it came out good. As you can tell, it came out good. Today, it's one of my cousin's graduations, so I didn't go to the graduation because it was really hell in the morning. And I didn't really want to wake up that super early. I didn't even go out with my dad, first of all, because he was going to go out afterwards. But I didn't even go out with him either. So, I haven't been filming lately. I haven't been feeling good to even be filming right now. But, you know, I'm going to leave that to a side. we got to move on with life. We're not going to stay down. We're not going to quit life. Well, I'm not always not planning to quit life, you know, but <laughs> my point is I was not gonna just because of one certain thing that is affecting me I don't want to come for it to come to my dream, you know, or my dream or Something I love to do, you know, I just don't want it to come to that, you know Put this on instead because I don't feel comfortable. What I just put on was the Maybelline baby skin instant pore It is this one right here. I've been using this for Lots of years now. I started makeup around a gray. Not the best makeup, I could say. I kind of did love makeup. I started to actually wear makeup or actually believe in makeup since I've been pretty small. Like, seriously. My mom actually gave me, like, uh, you know, those makeup sets for babies or, like, kids. When I was, like, six or seven i think i was six not sure i still remember it i don't remember what what the hell happened to it afterwards you could say that after that you know i saw people wearing makeup and i kind of was steal their makeup maybe it was not like a big set, but i would steal like pieces of it probably like a small eyeshadow they had i would take it i'll take it home <laughs> because you know i really found interesting since i was small makeup but I never really knew how to wear it or like more better to say there was really not much of an explanation how to tell me how to put it on the reason why is because my mom does not really wear makeup so that's one of the reasons why I never really wore makeup when I was smaller and younger and YouTube was still not existent by that time and I didn't even have a phone that time, so not even a tablet. But then slowly I started with uh, even YouTube. Like, honestly, now I watch some YouTubers. Honestly, I still struggle to watch my favorite YouTubers. My stuff don't come out the same as theirs. So even if I try to recreate something with, like, you know, which is so artful or not, I only probably see them just because they're funny or something like that. I'm thinking that I have a, like, you know, way to recreate their stuff is really not my thing my a grade pictures i really don't have the a grade pictures but basically i would type of do like you know those cheese mosa moms so i just you know be well not cheese mosa mom but more like dias also they're like eyebrows like that where it's just like one straight line i didn't do it one straight line just like one palito and that's it i more like did it like you know like it was my whole brow and i would make it like into a cubie or something like that i started to do that i don't know i just thought it was cute <laughs> which i know is not and then over time i also made my eyebrows darker because i didn't like them light so this time they look light and it's the reason why i don't like them light because my face looks different like think about it your lashes are dark and your eyebrows are light it does not make sense or sometimes how my skin tone looks like but yeah and now i'm usually using 
the wet and wild concealer this is like light medium or i think it's just light i'm not sure i always find it afterwards but i never know what the fuck it is because i always forget for all honestly i feel good like when i come so far i like like honestly i've been wanting to do youtube since i could possibly remember i've been wanting to do youtube since i was smaller like probably like 12. i had a whack ass laptop i did and honestly when i got that whack ass laptop like i appreciate that it gave us that because honestly how i got that laptop was not based on my family it was based on because i got to this program of like you know when they teach you like like um some certain class they're like you're basically like homeschool but it's a free program but i did i actually served the thingy after that i just you know we decided to whether to get a laptop or i tablet i think it was and tablet but it was all chrome or some shit like that or like android stuff and when i got the chrome you know, I got home. I was looking for software to fucking edit. But guess what? This shit didn't have nothing to edit with. I got so mad because I literally spent a lot of time in a program that is dope because they're cool. But it didn't help me what I wanted because I grabbed it for, you know, my editing stuff but you know it just didn't work out honestly like i got mad and then i just had to stay stuck with, with waiting what day i could actually get my laptop i got my laptop not too long ago this year last year i got my laptop on a day of christmas no my parents did not get me the laptop i bought it with my own money like not too long ago I lift off by just eating chips and cereal. That was two years ago. Like, for me to stop gaining weight, because trust me, I literally tried everything. Everything. I tried everything. For me to stop actually losing weight, wait, actually, wait, to actually start losing weight is for me to just stop eating. That's the only way for me because that actually happened. <laughs> that actually happened one time where there's this time of every year where I just stop eating. It's just not my season of eating, you know, like, like, I'll be like, um, I'll be like, I don't want to eat. I don't want to touch this food. It just disgusts me. And I have gone to the doctor why it happens to me. And they don't tell me anything about it. They just send me to this fucking... They just give me papers for, like, you know, this, like, health, nutrition, stuff like that. Okay, so I... <laughs> I kind of messed up, but I noticed. But I'm going to just really do it, like, the way I did it right now. So... I was supposed to put like, this was supposed to be after my actual highlighter but accidentally I put it before I like it but when it's by itself it does not really come to the way I want it to be so we're gonna have to go on top of it okay honestly I actually have this tiny story where like my brother we just literally found out something. So the thing is, we found out this year actually, my brother's best friend has been there for me at my worst time too. I appreciate him. The ways I probably don't appreciate everybody. We literally found out that he is actually our cousin. I don't know, he just one day came up to me, he just told me, I'm shocked. No, 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 actually, no. He put it on his Snapchat. There you go. And then he came to me. Um, he posted on his Snapchat saying, Your one best friend that has been there for you for 10 years now, you finally realize, or like, then te das de que es tu primo. I got shocked. I even texted him. I was like, What are you talking about? 
I didn't want to really want to get into details, so I didn't really answer to him after afterwards until when he came back. You know, he told me. He told me he was like. He was like telling me that, oh, he is our cousin. I was like, fuck you, me. He's our cousin. He's not our cousin. <laughs> so I kind of was in denial because it's crazy how such a big world becomes to be one of the smallest because we literally found one of our cousins and we didn't even know it was our cousin. So all this time we've been having him together or really close, but he was, I never knew he was our cousin. When we found out that, I was just like kind of like hella shocked because I was like, no wonder we kind of had like some type of, you know, like we felt good. And honestly, that's how you know my mom actually has a big heart because to be honest, when that cousin of ours, we when we didn't know that he was our cousin, you know, when he was going through the roughest times, my mom actually was willing to adopt him and receive him at home. My dad also accepted that part, which that's how you know we're actually real. And honestly, that's how much we're willing to take for people that are actually suffering, you know, that could become our part of our family, even if it's like, you know, not related to us. So even when we were actually going to receive him, that we didn't know that he was our cousin. We actually did at some point. We did like probably like two days and he just, you know, wanted to go back to his home. He received them with open hands. You know, I made him feel comfortable too at some point where I told him, I'm here, you know, you're, you know, he even tells me, you're my little sister and you're my big bro. Well, medium bro, because honestly, my brother's the oldest from him. He's even older than him, I think by one year. I feel happy of what he has become or what he's trying to become. He actually wants to become one of the UFC fighters. He wants to be out there. He's been doing kind of like UFC. He's been into training for that for like almost, since I know that he's in Medea, it's basically since high school. He's gonna graduate college right now. So that's pretty long time that he's been trying to do that. Like, he's still trying out there. He's doing his thing. I feel proud for him. Like, it's funny. My brother wants to do acting. I want to do this for life. want to be filming. I love filming. It's, <laughs> ever since I've been small, I've been loving filming. Like, honestly, I always made fucking videos of me, whether doing the stupidest shit or not. I just never posted it because I was really like a girl that was ashamed of what I did kind of like wanted to show what I was you know I was always embarrassed of you know what I would do I just feel better doing my videos on YouTube instead like even though if it's not dramatic looks that I do or like out there it's just you know I enjoy what I basically do even if it's a repeatable stuff in it I don't care I just like it I enjoy it as long as I enjoy it and people do people that do enjoy it is what matters to me. I really don't care about the negative thoughts. Makes my lips look juicy. <laughs> now we're actually done. So hope you guys enjoy this video because we finished on the right time because my dad is showering and since my room is actually next to it, then it's pretty hard to hear it and you can just hear the sound of my background you go and hope you guys like comment share and subscribe for this video because that and if you guys actually enjoyed me talking during the videos instead of just you know fast speeding it we're not talking because i honestly i do enjoy better the talking and the speeding <laughs> even though i don't speed them no more i mean hope you guys just like this video and yeah bye guys hey guys welcome back to oh I don't even know what I'm doing in the intro, but the thing is, I'm actually fucked up. I did not film nothing of a vlog, but I am fucked up. I am going to play to see how I do, but um, I'm sorry. I apologize for the not vlogging part. I'm actually kind of sleepy, but my friend wanted me to play, so I'm here. Right now, it's currently raining, and it's pretty 10.23. It's probably 10 to 20. My brother stayed. 
that's how my parents are because I don't have no ride back and he's gonna sleep over. So yeah. That's why I got back in he didn't But I don't feel okay. I just I ate. I don't even think they're good combinations. I don't know if I'm gonna throw up. Hopefully not. But just not fucked up and I did not film anything. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. Just goodbye. I even got proposed. It's like no. It's just out of the brownie that I got. It's what I got it from. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video of just me doing my makeup, you know, because it was a pretty long story for someone who does her makeup and stuff like that. I really don't remember nothing right now, but play. <laughs> so, yeah, bye guys. <laughs> I'm probably gonna, when I see this editing, I'm gonna be like, what the fuck was I doing? <laughs> bye guys, I'm seriously this time. Bye.